it's almost a year since India landed closer to the South Pole of the Moon through Chandrayaan-3. Prime Minister Narendra Modi designated that as the National Space Day. I have with me Dr. S. Somnath, Chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, Dr. Somnath, excited to be celebrating landing on Shiva Shakti point? Definitely. It is one year after the historic event. Uh, 23rd of August 2023 still is such a beautiful day for us. The landing of Chandrayaan 3, the Vikram on the near the southern pole of moon. And uh, we are rekindling those uh, spirit, uh, enthusiasm of those days for the next generation of people. What was your feeling on that day, that moment when the feather-like touchdown happened? See, this was very much expected. As far as I am concerned, we were hoping that to happen. Uh, as I have told, uh, even before the landing, uh, I was presenting this to some of the university students that uh, this time we are going to make it happen. So I was at ease and I was just happy to see the joy of my teammates you know, rejoicing that uh, landing uh, and including uh, our, our Honorable Prime Minister connected online to us watching. <laughs> well, your name itself Somanath means Lord of the Moon and the smile which we saw that day was amazing. I mean, coming soon after a failure when we tried landing. Now going beyond, we also have a Chandrayaan 4. What is Chandrayaan 4 and, and when will that happen? Chandrayaan 4 is a precursor to what we are ultimately want to do, sending human beings to Moon and bring them back safely. If you are to do that, we must have ability to go to Moon but also take off from the moon like a rocket, go to the orbit of the moon, come back to Earth's orbit and return back to surface of Earth. So if this has to happen, we must do it in a scaled model level, which is nothing but Chandrayaan-4. Here, instead of human beings, we are actually sending the craft up there, collecting samples from the moon's surface and bringing back, which will have a scientific you know, purpose also. So with the available capability of launchers and the available capability and a low expense mission, we can plan a Chandrayaan-4 to prove all the technology as well as the software component of that such a mission, ultimately human spaceflight mission to moon. That, will, is that is what Prime Minister Narendra Modi envisages by 2040. 2040 yes. So we have to do it in another two years mm -hmm. to prove the precursor of such a capability so that we will be preparing for a big scale uh, for the manned mission. And we also have in between a mission with Japan. We are working on that. We have not yet finalized it. That's something called the Lupex mission. We call it Chandrayaan 5, maybe the next of the Chandrayaan, where we want to send a rover of big size that is at least 10 times bigger than the one which we sent on Chandrayaan. Pragyan. Pragyan. And that rover has to go there and land in the very closer to the south pole, much closer than the earlier one, looking for the traces of water, life, etc. So, with Chandrayaan 4, are we again going to target nearer to Shiva Shakti point? Because that now seems like the hallmark for India and the Indian, in a way, an Indian territory on the moon. Yeah, that area is really good one because it, we found many, many new features. And uh, it is something that we can work on for 14 days uh, light available. Uh, it has more scientific observation capable reasons for going there. So it looks like uh, the next mission also we should do it there. Uh, going to equator is much more easier. This is not that easy. So it also is uh, more challenging, but it is more potential of scientific exploration lies there. So that's why it is interesting. So that was Dr. S. Somnath, chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, speaking about a revisit to the moon and India going back to the area of Shiva Shakti point nearer the south pole of the moon. That is the area which is exciting not just India but the world. India created history with Chandrayaan 1 and also with Chandrayaan 3. And the National Space Day is to celebrate that big achievement. Big camera person, Azam Siddiqui, in New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.